how to change or modify a gradient color in Photoshop 2024. In Photoshop 2024, go to the gradient tool in the tools panel. Then go up here and you've got gradient and classic gradient. So I'm just gonna go with gradient first. So with gradient, you think, oh, I can now edit the gradient. Click there, you can't. The edit gradient feature is not there. Well, you can select a gradient. I'm just gonna go with this one. So say you wanna change the gradient, you wanna edit it. Well, what you can do is you can apply the gradient and you can apply the gradient, obviously replacing what's existing at the moment. You see the image is still there, but you've got a gradient fill layer. Now, if you don't want that, and you want to fill this area behind and obviously just keep him, what you can do, select, and you can use subject. Generally, that makes a good, yeah, it's reasonable. You can always, of course, grow or expand the gradient. That's another option. Also, you can go select and inverse. So I can now fill this area. So I'm just going to apply it. And you can see I've got that gradient, but I don't want the black. So how do I edit it? Well, I just go here. And you see, as soon as you select it, that grows slightly bigger. You can go down this one, and that will also be slightly bigger. That's the one you can edit. So I'm just going to go here and double click. And it will bring up this panel. And you can change the colour. So now I've got a yellow background. Obviously, I've still got white there. But also what I can do, I can hover over this. And if I just go slightly below or above, not on the line itself, I just hover there, and I can just click, and that will add another gradient stop. And you can manipulate that gradient stop, you can move it. You can also, again, double click and change color there. So you've got now a red gradient, as well as the yellow at the center. And you can move things around, reposition, and do much, much more. Also, you'll notice if you go here to layers, just go there, you've got this mask. So you can manipulate that. You can go there and you can apply filter effects but I don't want this anymore. I want the classic gradient, the way it was done before. So let's just undo. And I'm just gonna apply this classic gradient and you just go up here and you see classic gradient. Now I can apply the gradient and you can see it's applied just using the old one. It hasn't been edited. But this time, if I undo, I can click here and it brings up the old gradient editor as always been in previous versions of Photoshop. Well, I can now go over here and I can change it. So here, I'm just gonna go here to the color, just click there and make that yellow, click there. And I can change again. So make certain you select it. Now it doesn't grow, it doesn't resize, but you can also click here and use the background as well as use the color. You can go to this one, and maybe decide I want not white, but I'm just gonna click again and I want purple. So you got that, and you can also go along this bar and you can add additional stops. So just click there, maybe go here, click there, and make it black. And you can see now you've got yellow, black, and purple. And you can move it around, again, change your color just by clicking here. You can just click here, and you can change your color, make it green, and click OK. So now, click OK, and now I can apply it. Now it's not stored away as a gradient preset, you can store it if you want. So you can apply it again and again. But again, just click here. And to actually add it as a gradient preset, as will be here, you can just click here, New. So that will add it just down here. And now you can use it in future projects. Click OK. And now you can apply it again and again. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always great to hear. Bye.